Once our starters are complete, what we have effectively done here is we have made this opening a square. So we don't have to really deal with being on a wedge anymore. So I'm going to attach uh, my strand of rush along the side like I have been. And then I can weave fully all around on all four corners of the chair. Of course, we will be using the same pattern that we used on our starters. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go around this all oh, about five times using the same pattern. demonstrated this doing the starter pieces. So once we get to this point, we want to go to the back rail. It's the same thing, over the top and under. Uh, I should mention, you want to keep your, your rush strands always working towards the center of the chair. Uh, when you go around your rail, you want to come up towards the middle. You don't want to come up on the outside, that's going to be a misweave for you. Also, uh, when you come around the side, you want to keep your unwoven parts to the center of the chair. And then back to the front. And that's about this. That's about it as far as the weave pattern goes. It just continuously repeats itself. Now I've gone around here until I have five loose strands in this front corner where I like to start. And once I get to that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to tighten these up and pull this weave to If you get a spot where it's um, started to come untwisted, I'll try and zoom in on that for you here. Right there, if it starts to come untwisted on you, you can just give that a, a little twist and tighten that back up. Pull it tight around the room. I like to hold it with my finger once I've gone around. And then we can just pull it across and continue with our weaving. If you need to stop weaving, either to, um, to weave some more in or you need to take a break, this is where your hand clamp comes in. Just put that on there, and that'll. Now I have gone around here. Uh, mm -hmm. While the count is five times in this corner, but it's actually only four weaves on the other three corners. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go back and knock these all tight. Mm -hmm.
and I will use my my screwdriver and my tack hammer to make sure all these strands are straight and evenly spaced. Once all the strands have been straightened, top and bottom, I like to take my mallet and just knock this down. This wants to uh, raise up as we weave, and we want to keep that little uh, a little bit of a dish going on here. So. tap that down. Now this procedure that I just demonstrated here I'm going to keep doing and I'm going to go I'm going to fill most of this in until we get to the next procedure that we need and uh, I'll go off camera and I'll weave up to that point and then I'll show you the next step. Now, as you can see, I've been weaving along here, filling this in. I haven't quite got to the point where I wanted to stop and demonstrate the next procedure to you, but I did get to the point where I ran out of rush, and I thought this would be a good point to demonstrate uh, what we do when we run out of rush. Uh, if you should need to tie on for any reason, if it breaks while you're weaving, or you need to add some more, whatever the case may be, you want to make sure that you do this so that it is hidden. Um, and how we do that is we make sure that our knot is going to be on the bottom side of the chair. So we can take our next strand, um, dip it in the water, just kind of shake it off after you pull it out. Take your end. I like to use a square knot. If any of you know what a square knot is, but uh, I suppose just an old granny knot will work. Tie that on. And double check that this is going to fall underneath, and that's what we want. So what I'll do at this point is I'll just continue weaving from here on just like nothing had ever happened. I have now woven up to the point uh, as far as I can go uh, to where we can start the next step. And what we want to do at this point is we want to stuff these cavities with some cardboard. And I've gone ahead and I've cut out some cardboard shapes. Um, there's three different shapes we have shapes to fit the sides, the back, and the front. What we want to do is just tuck these in here as tight as we can. Now we're probably going to have to trim these a little bit. They're not always the, the same on the inside as they are on the outside. We just kind of cut those by eye. any writing uh, that might be on a cardboard down or on the first one so it gets covered. to get caught you can take your regular screwdriver and just kind of help it along. These little points you can just trim those off. I'm going to go around and I'm going to stuff the three other cavities and then we can start our weaving again. Now, as you can see I've gone and stuffed all these cavities and I've restarted my weaving. I'm going to continue to weave around until we have these sides all filled in and that's going to leave us with a narrow strip down the center. Once we have woven to the point where our sides are filled in and we have this one strip from front to back, our uh, weaving pattern is going to change slightly. 
I have a little bit of rush here. And since this is such a small hole here, it's going to be easier if you take your rush off the coil and just weave it through the hole singularly. Uh, you need to take your, your rush, go to the back of the chair, and wrap around the rung just like we've been doing, and come back up through. Go to the front. Wrap it around the rung, come back up through, and we're just going to keep working like that alternately, back to front, front to back, until we get this all filled in. Now we've got to go a few strands and I've got about three on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull these tight. Take our flat headed screwdriver, put it in here, and tighten these up. You can also use uh, the plywood tool. along the uh, front and the back rungs. You can just insert it in here and tap these tight. Uh, it's going to get to a point where you're not going to have room to get this tool in there and in that case you'll just use the flat headed screwdriver. Once we have the center all filled in, I can turn this chair upside down and we can tie off uh, our rush on the bottom. This little tail. Can just get tucked under your rush. Doesn't have to be quite this long. Once that's done, I'm just going to take my flat headed screwdriver, I'm going to go through and I'm going to adjust all these strands, both on the bottom and over on the front. And once I'm satisfied with that, we will give this a coat of shellac.